Oh boy, my goodness, man. This already looks freaking insane. Like, literally, every single time I play one of MJPW's maps, this is what I'm saying. Look at that. Look at this dude. It's the freaking guy. I think his name's the Executioner or something like that from the Evil Within. But just look at this dude, man. He is ridiculous ridiculous but yeah today we are playing the i think it's called escape from evil within so it's pretty much a part of noah j's mapping contest which basically if you didn't know everyone's making these escape rooms and mjpw has put together this insane freaking evil within kind of style one as you can see this guy just will not leave us alone he has a freaking axe as well but luckily as you can see he was actually a lot more easier to kind of kill in this one. Oh, we got a door open up let's go okay i don't know what the hell's behind there but let's go ahead and check it out it always creeps me out you know like every single time just look at that like i mean straight away if you've got epilepsy i'm so sorry please look away right now because this is obviously going to bug you out I'm saying that just before we go through this way let me just kind of turn around and i want to take in kind of like the area we haven't really examined it i mean we got this lock can i like knock it or interact oh my god it actually worked i knifed it and it actually went down oh we got a crossbow this is what we like to see now already we're talking like serious weaponry we got freaking this is a special wonder weapon from the actual conclusion map also i saw this statue right this isn't the first time i've seen it i've seen it here can we actually like shoot this thing or knife it oh my god we can and it's even got the sound as well from i think it sounds like resident evil or something but yeah i definitely saw another one i'm just trying to figure out where it was was it in this corner or back in spawn aha yes it is it is over here it's very dark by the way so you need to kind of like keep your eyes peeled but they are around the map i don't know how many there are oh okay right we do definitely do not want to go through there right we're going to slowly make our way through this kind of freaking scary us just look at it oh my god it looks so freaking creepy man oh what happened there oh my god look at the gun yo i have no idea if this was intentional or i mean i'm gonna say it wasn't but even still it looks freaking sick all right enough with the jokes let's actually carry on so if i make my way into this room let's see we've got all this green smoke we've got these dudes kind of trapped in this cage can i go inside here oh no right okay we definitely can't go in there just yet i saw on the workshop that there are these kind of um i don't know what you call them like freaking wheels that we can turn so if i hold x on this yeah we can interact with it again we have another keeper though so we need to kind of like pay attention i don't know where he spawns in there we go he's right there can we do it in time oh we're gonna have to let go screw it all right cool let me change on over to the pistol because it actually did bits against him last time actually saying that no I now have the wonder weapon, don't I? So if I shoot him in the head, hopefully we can try and grab those arrows because he is a beefy boy. And look at that. Boom. Already two shots. This is the weapon we need. And he's back again. I literally have no time to do this. Every single time I get close to this will, the guy spawns in. So I'm just going to have to try and firm it. I'm surely like it's not going to be a one hit down because if it is, oh, yo, 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 relax. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Let's just be friends. Let's just ride it out together. Unless we'll just calm down. Okay, I've annoyed him. I've annoyed him somehow. I have annoyed him because he's a very, very fast man. And I do need to get inside this room. But I low-key can't. So if I bring out this weapon and then time it perfectly, shoot him in the goddamn face. Bring him through. Shoot him in the goddamn face. Grab this arrow. I'm so thankful, you know, you can actually grab these arrows. Can you grab the arrows? I think you can. I mean, I don't even know at this point. It's being weird. But I've killed him, which is good news. Another one has spawned in again which is and the door's locked great fantastic are you telling me i'm trapped inside with this thing but we do have another statue just go ahead and knife that i really hope we actually get something cool for that because if i find all of these statues and i get nothing which i don't believe that would happen i'm surely it would give me like a special wonder weapon or something come on please right okay so he's here now he looks extremely pissed oh my god yo what the hell he just snapped his neck wow okay brilliant that is incredible i don't know how the hell these guys actually put all this stuff together man every time i go back to this every single time i play custom zombies i just look at it and think how like this guy is from the evil within it's got nothing to do with cod zombies it's got nothing to do with call of duty whatsoever how the hell do you get something like this to function in a black ops game it is just insane honestly it's just crazy but i need to grab this arrow turn around just please oh my god i'm on red oh that was close that was very very close right one more in head three two one bang and he's done he is done does that door open it does indeed let's go so far so good we have managed to kind of i don't really know what stage right remember these are escape rooms i'm guessing there's gonna be multiple different stages oh another big dude this guy will never leave me alone every single time i get to like a comfortable part 
He just kind of comes out of nowhere. I'm guessing I can't go through here because it's going to... Oh, no, I can. Okay, fair enough. Ah, oh, right. This is spawn. Yeah, this makes perfect sense. We've done a big loop. All right, cool. So what we want to do is probably stay away from him because I'm guessing if I grab this wheel, yeah, makes sense. Can I grab this book? No, I can't. I'm just trying to piece it all together because, yeah, we need to obviously open up those valves. And this guy is chasing me. And I feel like every single time... Wait, actually, let me just try this, right? He's running at the moment. If I just hold him for a second, maybe he might slow down. Oh, he does slow down. All right, cool. That's perfect. Now I just need to find the valve thing to stick it on, which would be over here. Let's quickly hold X. I just got like a little wow to kind of tell me congratulations, I, I assume anyway. Come on. This thing needs to hurry up, man. Every single time. These things take so slow. I know he's behind me as well. He's running so fast. And the thing is, yeah, if I take him out, he just spawns back in. So it's like, it's almost pointless. I just need to ride it out. So quickly run around here again. And I want to get it done in this kind of stage right now. And if you wax me, I don't really care because we've already established we don't die after one hit and I bottled it again. If there's one thing I've learned in zombies is you never risk it for a chalky biscuit. That's one thing I've learned. And normally over the years, I kind of make this error or mistake where I just go, yeah, go on in, I can risk it. And then I throw away all of my hard work. Like imagine if you spend like 35 minutes playing a game and then you think you're him. You think you have main character syndrome. And then you just ruin it. Because you try to be that guy. And I don't want to do that right now. Obviously, I haven't been playing for 35 minutes. But you guys catch my drift. Right, okay. We are now done with this. That means I can go downstairs. And there's another freaking keeper box. Which just isn't great. Can I kind of open this? How does this even work? I mean, that just looks terrifying. There is a freaking thing with a whole bunch of arrows. Oh my god. Can I actually get past? Ooh, he's got a freaking bag. Okay, I need to figure out how to kind of unlock that lever thing. I found another statue as well. I just can't wait, actually. Can I just... Oh, that was close. And another statue. Okay, that's two already. So I told you they're hidden quite dark places. How do I unlock the freaking door? Like, I literally have no idea. Let me try and go downstairs again. So we have this lever thing, but I can't interact with it. This guy's charging at me, which is just scary. Unless I get him inside and then activate it, but that's just like... That's really hard. You know what? Let me try something because... I've, I don't think we can, surely this, nah, it has to mean something, surely, like, can we, like, shoot this thing, or whack it, or, I mean, I can't interact with that, can we interact with this, no, oh, oh, no way, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, if I put it under here, why is it not dropping, why is it not dropping, don't do this to me now, oh my god, that was so damn close, wait, so I've dropped the head underneath that, and then, I'm guessing, what, we just, no way, what, we're just gonna squash the head, that's not gonna do nothing, we need to be squashing this dude right now, he is the issue, bro, I picked up the friggin' head, this is the first time in my entire life, can I pick up more, I mean, I can't pick up that one, or that one, I'm sure it's fine, let me go downstairs, is there, interact with this thing, boom, look at that, oh, we're cooking, lads, we're actually cooking, I mean, maybe we're not cooking, because we just activated him, ow, wow, he got squished, wow, okay, brilliant, what a ending, to th this is it, chapter cleared, endings achieved, law keeper, this is sick, okay, that's weird, I've kind of, like, respawned back at the original place, so I don't really know kind of what's happening i mean there's obviously different endings clearly like it can't just be the same one over and over again i guess the one that we unlocked was obviously the law keeper which obviously had something to do with the head so not gonna lie i'm a bit confused i am confused i don't really know what to do right now so i'm just trying to you know kind of process it figure it all out maybe there's one where you find all of the statues i mean do i know where they all are obviously not so that's going to be stressful times please sir can you leave me alone i'm just trying to focus and i've got you up my ass kind of stressing me out i'm already stressed about this i'm guessing we're gonna have to like replay this all again and then something different happens there's no way it's gonna be the same game surely not i'm telling you now right we was able to grab this off the table there is definitely something up with this book 100 i mean i can't interact with it i can't knife wait what the hell is going on i've just knifed this damn thing whoa oh my god it just oh my god look at this it's got a freaking shotgun uh let me trade out the pistol for the shotgun Oh, this is freaking insane. I told you, bro. I knew it. I freaking knew it. I knew that book had something. Because how comes we can actually pick up this valve, but yet we can't do nothing with the book? There's no way. Surely we can... There's other things around the map. There has to be. Let's go ahead and activate this one. Obviously, yep, the keeper's going to come back again. But we don't really care because we got a shotgun. We're beefed up. We're ready to go. By the way, I have no idea if it's really loud when the keeper comes in. I kind of turn up the screen to kind of, I don't know, improve the atmosphere, if you will. Um, I would imagine it's still pretty damn quiet anyway, but yeah, let me know in the comments if it's if you need it turned up louder for the next videos. And um, we've got another keeper spawned in, things you love to see, but it's okay. It's absolutely okay because after all, we've got the beefy shotgun now, and they literally die after two headshots. Look at that. 
Life is so easy once you have a goddamn shotgun, man. Let me go ahead and activate this. I know the one behind us comes up from the floor. So that's good news because we've already replayed this scenario. We know what's about to happen. He comes in all angry and absolutely rips off his neck and head, which is just so damn creepy. But there you go. Look, boom. Lands on the floor. Another keeper's in the room. Any second, let me knife this statue. Chuck this valve on here. And then we're going to quickly try and crack him with this valve before the big dude gets here. Three, two, one. Turn around. There he is. Headshot. Headshot. Thank you for coming. All right, there we go. I told you. I told you. We never, ever get a moment's peace. Every single time we're just trying to, you know, find our feet, crack on with life. This guy comes in and tries to disrupt the goddamn party. Please, sir, I've told you enough times. There's a body here. Your best friend already went through it. So why can't you learn? Anyway, downstairs, we know what the drill is. Grab this head. Go ahead, take it in. And then I think we press, is it Y to drop it? Yeah, Y to drop it. Interact with this. The keeper comes out. We squash him. And happy days. Three, two, one. Boom. Look at that. Absolutely lethal. That is complete savage. So is that chapter two done? Or law? Oh, I, don't, I don't understand this. Chapter cleared. Endings achieved. Law keeper. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six challenges or trophies or something to uncover and we've done two endings and we've achieved the same one so i honestly don't know what we need to do maybe i'm missing something i don't know i'm definitely missing something but i don't know what it is and i'm a little bit baffled because you know what it is yeah we found we've done the original one where you just go through and then you put the head down fine then i've done the second one where you grab the shotgun and then that's also fine but i still got the same ending the law keeper but I'm guessing there's something to do with the statues. Honestly, lads, I'm, I'm baffled. I can't lie to you. I am very, very baffled. I'm going to have to speak to MJPW and kind of... <laughs> I'm going to need some guidance on this because I'm clueless and I'm not good at finding Easter eggs. But anyway, listen, look, I hope you've enjoyed the video. It is a freaking sick map. Hopefully more gets added to it because, my God, I mean, already, I love Evil Within. So playing maps like these are always so freaking cool. But yeah, apologies. I can't show you any more endings because I don't really know what else to do. But uh, if you enjoyed the video, smash the like button, comment down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. And like always, people, I will see you in the next one. Peace.